Hello everybody and welcome to Looking at the Test. So as I get started looking at the test here, the first thing that I notice is that you're going to need to know a whole lot about yellow journalism. Not just the guys who kind of pioneered it in William Randolph Hearst and Joseph Pulitzer, but also the politicians who used it very effectively to get what they wanted. People like Theodore Roosevelt and Henry Cabot Lodge. Remember, Henry Cabot Lodge is a senator from Massachusetts, not nearly as famous as his presidential buddy Theodore Roosevelt, but Henry Cabot Lodge was a jingo who was very, very interested in expanding American greatness throughout the Caribbean. Now, something interesting here, you're definitely gonna to wanna to know about the open door policy. Something you might wanna look into is the anti-imperialist league because not everybody who saw American expansionism, thought that it was a very good thing. So you're definitely going to want to know, um, and um, this is all based on a little excerpt here, but you're definitely going to want to know some about the open door policy, about the responses to America expanding, America being imperial. It's more controversial in America than it is in other countries because America has those guiding principles of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Here I see another, uh, this, this looks like it would apply to the big stick diplomacy of Theodore Roosevelt. And remember, of course, that big stick diplomacy uh, advocated for by Theodore Roosevelt is a lot different than dollar diplomacy. He advocated for by William Howard Taft in dollar diplomacy. is going to be when essentially we invest money into other countries almost buying favors but just hoping that our investment there is going to curry good favor with that country and then of course there's moral diplomacy advocated for by Woodrow Wilson which essentially says we are not going to be imperialistic but we do we are interested in spreading democracy sharing our values with the world so all of that, that Spanish-American War, yellow journalism, big stick diplomacy, open door policy, all of that is going to be very, very important to know. And then here I see we are moving into the progressive movement portion of the test. So the progressive movement, make sure that you know who the muckrakers are. That's obviously going to be very important. In particular, the jungle is going to be pretty important. I see here a question about the National Women's Christian Temperance Union um, and the, the movement that they were striving toward. That's certainly going to be something important to know. Um, I see a question here about voting rights that is, uh, that is pretty important. I also see more questions here about muckrakers. Uh, that is very, very important. So make sure uh, coming out of this section, I guess one of the big things that I would take away from this is that you're going to want to know about the muckrakers. You're going to want to know about the movement of progressivism, who was involved in it, what sorts of things they achieved, uh, namely for, for women in this time. But also I see here something asking a question about the election of 1912, which is obviously the big election that comes out of this time. That is the election in which uh, Theodore Roosevelt runs against William Howard Taft, his buddy, and Woodrow Wilson, um, Theodore Roosevelt being the third party candidate there. All right, I see a question here. Ooh, we are now into the more tricky part of it, the units three and four, the periods three and four section of the test. I see a question here, hmm, this looks like it would have a lot to do with the Seven Years' War. Perhaps not the war itself, but more the outcomes of the war. As always, that is much more important. The outcomes and effects of the Seven Years' War, otherwise known as the French and Indian War, is always going to be more important than the war itself. Hmm, I see here something about a certain act that put taxes on colonists. Hmm. And, and as you might imagine, it's an act that they weren't happy about because tax colonists were never very thrilled about getting taxed. Hmm. I see something here. Hmm. I would classify this much more in the vein of something that Henry Clay would be interested in, um, which is something that I... That I, I'll leave it there. I'll leave it in that this is this section. I would I would just go look into the things that Henry Clay advocated for in the early 1800s because we are now on to period four. Um, and now I am looking at some questions about Andrew Jackson in particular, the presidential powers that he exercised that were very very uh, very very controversial at the time. There are also four SAQs. You will choose two. I'm not going to get into the SAQs because that would kind of defeat the purpose. If you have any questions about this test, please send me an email. Thank you. Thank you.